we uh, actually, um, I should say my wife met Kim and Chris at a, at a yard sale they were giving. Uh, turns out they live around the corner from a house we were uh, in escrow with. Uh, uh, it was a short sale. And uh, we were having a lot of problems with it. And she stopped at the yard sale on, on her way to visit the house. Happened Got to mention to that they were short sale experts. That's right. And I kind of, you know, caught my attention and I asked them a few questions and they gave us some hints and some tips about talking to our realtor and what, what we should ask for and how we should go about doing things. And the tips really helped. And um, we ended up having issues on down the road when they when they foreclosed on the house. And we knew that we couldn't we couldn't stick with our old realtor anymore. We had to get uh, some short sale experts. And we immediately went to Kim and Chris. And um, I know for a fact that we would not have ended up with this house if it wasn't for them. There's just there's no way we would have had it. And we've been fighting for seven months to get this house and they got it for us. One of the things you'll find with Kim and Chris is that they're they're always available whenever you need them. We'd call them uh, weekends and evenings. Uh, we'd email them at 9 o'clock at night expecting a response in the morning and immediately got an email back. And, uh, I've emailed them to work at 6, 6.30 in the morning expecting an answer in a couple of hours and got another immediate response. They're really uh, always available when you need them. Uh, they're willing to do anything that it takes. Uh, I can, can't count the number of times where they run paperwork out to our lender out in Chino Hills and then turn around and ran out to Riverside to the escrow company uh, all on their own. They could have used a courier, but it, paperwork was important and needed to get it done and they volunteered. They have come to our house on weekends to pick up paperwork uh, just because it needed to be somewhere first thing on Monday morning. It's daily phone calls to the escrow company uh, pushing them and asking them what needed to be done and getting it done for us. Uh, Following up, making sure people knew what was coming next, making sure we knew what was coming next. They would give us a heads up saying, expect in a couple days you're going to have to do this. And, okay, tomorrow we're going to have to do this. And we were always one step ahead of the game. We always knew what to expect. But they make a great team. It's like the whole good cop, bad cop thing. I mean, uh, Kim is just hardcore. I mean, you know, she, when she puts her mind to it, she's going to get it done no matter what. Chris is more laid back. And when you need, like, a little bit of a lighter touch with somebody, he's there to do it. I mean, I don't know. I, I know we wouldn't have gotten this house if it hadn't been for Chris. Uh, Kim just saying, you know, going after the person and just saying, you know, give me the price, give me the price. Just just tell me the price. And, you know, we found out and we got the house. We got the house with a thousand dollars to spare. So that was a good thing. We ended up in a bidding war against uh, two other people at the end. There were three offers on the house and we were uh, one of the three. And uh, one of the ho offers was higher than ours. But uh, we would have never known that. We would have never known that. And Kim actually was able to find out what that highest offer was and uh, suggested to us what we needed to do to come out on top. We actually went a thousand dollars over their, their highest bid uh, and ended up with the house. And so we really appreciate everything they've done for us and getting us into the house that we dreamed of for like seven, said, months. seven months. Seven months. We've been trying to get this seven house. Thank you, Kim and Chris, and believe me, you can't go wrong if you choose them as your workers. Oh, that's a good one. I know. <laughs>